Okay, so it is February. This is the day after I posted that video. I weighed in at 190.3, which is actually the lowest weigh-in I've had um, in the morning. Hey guys, so it's April 29th, my show day, and I'm not on stage, and I feel good about my decision not stepping on stage. I honestly thought that I would be really, really upset about it, and I was for a while, but if you guys saw my I want to quit video, I was more upset there with everything going on in my life and I realized I needed to take a step back in order to take steps forward. So for those of you who have been following me throughout my weight loss journey or my prep or just my life in general, thank you. I want to thank you guys for all your support and I'm so grateful that I have you guys there to support me and the constant love and affection and criticism that I get. I appreciate every single bit of it. I wouldn't have made the decision I made without weighing everything in my life and that's kind of what I want to talk about in this video. There's vlog footage and other things in here. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to edit it or anything like that but I want to really get the information out there for you guys because I like keeping you guys in the loop. So back when I posted my I want to quit video I was in tears and you guys can see in this video right here um I haven't been this sad about like life and everything since I was like really obese and for those of you who follow me because of that video this is exactly where I was when I was you know before I started my health journey and it sucks that I'm at this point again. So back to my I want to quit video. That was a really hard time for me and I've been working on getting better and I realized that I needed to focus on myself and my happiness because the reason that I started my health journey in 2014, December of 2014, was to be happy and this prep was not making me happy and I love fitness, I love eating well and I love the body that I have and I felt like I was taking steps backwards with my mental health rather than taking steps forward, which is what I was trying to do. And um, I realized I needed to postpone my show. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys get like live updates. And if you guys follow me on Snapchat, Snapchat is the way to like figure out everything that I'm doing with my life on the daily. So if you guys haven't like started following me on there, my snap's going to be right here. You guys can add me. I promise that I will talk to each and every one of you and um, I really enjoy interacting with you guys and I'm so thankful that I have you guys here to support me. So during that time I was a wreck and I had no grip on my life. I was struggling a lot with my inner stuff, my outer stuff, like everything that was just going on with my life I was struggling and I couldn't really get a grip. I couldn't, I felt like I was circling the drain and if I just kept going down I was just going to completely disappear and lose myself and lose my happiness and everything I've worked so hard for. I saw all of the comments that you guys left. There were over a hundred comments and when I tell you they weren't just like one sentence, they were paragraphs of advice and I'm grateful for every single piece of advice that I received. There were some that were so real that I didn't even realize that you guys could see that and some of the comments were very blunt and that's fine with me because I asked for your guys' honest advice and I read every single comment and they all hit home in a different way and they really like provoked my thoughts and I'm just so grateful. Specifically, I also had a few people reach out to me. I even had Rob's Gym post a video and this is what he posted. Watch it and and love me for who I am. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Hey, look. We're gonna do this a little bit different. I've always, man, I've just, I've always had a soft spot to see a woman cry. It, it actually, it hurt watching, watching this young lady cry because she, you know, she felt, she felt that comfortable to prop her camera up and talk to the world. You know what I mean? All your real ones will be here to support you. Don't get down on yourself. You know, there's too much negativity in this world as it is. You know what I mean? Don't let what little kids say, adults say, forget it. It doesn't mean anything. You know what I'm saying? Live for you. You're not a quitter. So when Rob posted that video, two things. Um, a ton of you guys actually sent me over to his channel and I was still 
kind of like on a social media cleanse so I had only checked my phone maybe once that day. I had like 27 different messages that day specifically telling me to go watch that video. I had a lot of my friends who normally don't actually watch my videos, they just are subscribed to me because they're my friends. They watched it and they're people that I don't talk to very often. So when they would te when they texted me, they're like, Sydney, I saw your video and I just want you to know that like I love you and I hope you're okay. Posting it, I didn't think a lot of people would click on it. I don't I don't know. I was just like in my own little world. I just wanted to vent to you guys because you guys are my family and <sighs> I'm just so grateful for you guys because I've been doing a lot better now. Um, I had to postpone my show which was such a hard decision but in the end I knew that it was right because I talked to my prep coach and at the end of the day your happiness means so much more than getting to be 5% body fat or whatever your goal is for the stage. The stage will always be there but if I don't take care of myself I will not. I realized I needed to just focus on myself and I want to give you guys some more background because in my video I was like so jumbled I turned on the camera I had no idea what I was saying and I just like rambled on for 16 minutes or 15 minutes and I'd like to kind of explain a little bit more if you guys are interested if you guys aren't um, skip through different parts because there's vlogs um, and random stuff like that's gonna be like import inserted in here you guys always saw me smiling in my videos maybe I complained once or twice but I was never like showing you guys the really really tough times what you guys didn't see was me waking up getting out of bed at 5 in the morning going to the gym and working out then showering, rushing to school, and constantly being on the go because in classes, I'm a senior, but I do stay pretty involved at school. Like, I mean, I'm involved in a decent amount of clubs. I help a lot of people out at school with their video editing needs, and with that, I still have my three uploads a week. So it gets kind of stressful. I'm also building my own business right now, and I am working with Adventure Capital for a, another program that I'm creating for uh, children who are obese and like helping them get a better life and everything and lifestyle but like I just have a million different things going on so when I'm at school I'm not just taking class and just sitting on my phone texting people I'm like doing all these other things I have conference calls after I get out of class I actually usually don't even go to my seventh hour which I do have a seventh hour class you guys see my vlogs I normally don't go because I have nannying so I like go and pick up the kids I work I said that I don't like my job and that is definitely true I'm very grateful for it because it's taught me a lot it's taught me things that I wouldn't learn at any other job and I, I make decent amount of money and it's a different type of flexibility I constantly have you know long emails that are to-do lists of things that I have to do so I don't have time to do my schoolwork or my YouTube or anything like that when I'm actually at their house so I just I try to like, I try really hard to, you know, keep up with everything, but it gets really stressful and sometimes I don't have time to breathe. I don't have time to sit down and I'll be up the entire day. The only time I'll be sitting is when I'm like in a class. I don't have time to just sit and breathe because my brain is always constantly running. And then I get off work around like eight or nine and then I rush to the gym, go work out, and then I come home. And once I come home, I come home to a messy room because I don't have even time like I just throw things around and leave my room like I'm not in here that often but then on the days that I had to meet with my prep coach I would take the kids to my prep coach which was kind of stressful and I'd put them in a room and let them watch like Netflix or something I'd work out as fast as I could because the parents that I work for do not like the fact that I had to go to the prep coach and stuff like they it, there was always a problem with taking the kids I would take the kids to the prep coach and then my prep coach was always so sweet and understanding but I just felt so like bad about doing that and I felt extra stressed because I had to like finish my workout in a certain time I couldn't take my time and I couldn't push like I couldn't do an extra set or rep because that would take more time and I don't know I always felt like I was just being rushed and I felt like I wasn't appreciating the, the process that I was in. Um, and then after I got home on the days that I either had the gym or the prep coach I would try to get everything done and then I'd fall asleep around 1, wake up at 5 and repeat and I was so sleep deprived and I was just in a deficit and I wasn't drinking any caffeine so everything was just turning to shit. After filming that video I actually took the time to look at my timesheet because I have one for the hours that I work and I looked at it and I realized I work 56 hours a week. I'm a full-time student I am currently working on the program for children's obesity and like working with them one-on-one -on -one. and 
I'm working with Adventure Capital and SAP. I have conference calls. I'm constantly working on bettering my YouTube channel, um, growing my social media, collaborating with people. At that point, I was working out six times a week. I was doing cardio four times a week, and then I was hitting legs twice, shoulders once, back once. I was also getting footage for this documentary that I'm going to be part of, and I needed to like kind of do like vlog style footage for them and they have like certain deadlines that I need to send it into them as because I'm going to be part of this documentary and um, I'm excited about it. It's just that it was hard getting the footage because they wanted it a specific way and me talking about a specific thing and the only time I had time to do it was when I was nannying so I'd have to like tell the kids like shh be quiet and I felt even extra bad then because that was the only spare time I had so I just felt very like stressed because I'd have to finish the to-do list and then once I had like a spare moment when like the washing machine was still filled and like all of that stuff I just like tried really hard to get everything done and with that being said since I am a senior I'm working on college applications a lot of deadlines just happened and I find out about a lot of them kind of soon some of them I don't even find out until August but I'm really excited, fingers crossed. Um, I got really stressed out because one scholarship video that I worked incredibly hard on, <sighs> their email stopped working or they just blocked me. I have no idea. I sent them the email and it said it never delivered and I emailed them again and it said that one didn't deliver. So I have no idea why it didn't deliver. Um, I worked really hard on that video and I don't even have a chance to be eligible for that scholarship so that really sucked. It made me really sad because I put all this time and effort into it, getting the footage and talking about my story and then it just went down the drain. So with this I still kept straight A's. I also qualified for state for DECA which is a academic decathlon but with everything going on I realized that I was getting so stressed out that I needed to sit down and focus on myself and then I just sat down and filmed the video and I let everything out because there were so many things that I needed to just release. When I did that I felt a lot better. And the biggest thing that I was struggling with was the fact that this is my senior year. I at that point only had three months left of high school. It's currently April and I graduate in May and I just wanted to feel like I had made the memories that I could and that I had taken the time with the people that were going to be like moving away because I'm going to be gone um, the entire summer because I'll be in Europe and then I'll be going to college and all my friends that are leaving they're going to be leaving before I get back from Europe and I won't have a chance to see them. After I posted that video I went out and I had fun with friends and I realized that my version of fun isn't always their version of fun because I've grown a lot and I've changed a lot. So with that being said I'm just going to play the rest of the vlog footage from the day after my breaking point. Okay guys, so I totally forgot that I was vlogging today and I realized that now I need to do that. So, with that being said, um, we were, where, where are we eating at right now? What's this place called? Foundry. So we're eating at Foundry, which the restaurant's called Matched, or Match, right? Match. And um, we finished eating, we ordered the Opa, and then we ordered the... No Ordinary Chick. It's like not your normal chick or something. Yeah. It, it was good. But it was too spicy for me. I cry. I was like gonna cry, and I drank so much water. But I'm here with my dad, and he's just the cutest thing ever. <laughs> Look at him. But he's helping me with my goals because, as you guys saw that one video, I just I really need to reevaluate my goals before I talk to my prep coach and just tell him what I want. Because if I can't be clear with what I want, then it's not going to work out. It's, I'm not gonna be able to reach them. Um, so. With that being said, what I'm doing is I'm writing down all of my goals, and I have them here, written. And then um, I'm writing what I'm gonna do for them. So like, the first goal I have is I'm gonna reach 158 because that is the weight that I wanna hit for stage. So like, I'm gonna work towards that and then like, lose the weight and then build muscle and talk to my coach about how I'm gonna do that. But I'm gonna be meal prepping, doing five workouts a week, and losing one to two pounds a week just so I can hit that Cool. And then I want to accept a job that I love because you guys saw in that video I was I'm not a fan of my job and I'm just gonna be open to the job coming into my life and recognizing that that job is the one that's for me. So this restaurant's really cool though and the view is like really nice. 
I just love it. So I'm gonna do a little pan for y'all. You guys can see this is the view that we have, which is really nice because it's like green and pretty and just really nice and airy and open. But like this is what the actual, like do you see this rope right here? It's just everything's so pretty. And then we were sitting here, but now we moved over and I'm reading some Snapchats from you guys. But yeah, so I will talk to you guys later. And um, I'm just gonna enjoy the time with my dad because you know, like. Okay, guys. So we just finished at Re. What's this place called again? Refound. Nope. Foundry. We just yeah. Okay. We just finished at Foundry. So now we're going to be heading home. And I think he said I had a package at home. So whatever I got in the mail, you guys will see. Okay. So I have this little package to open. Um, let's take out the packaging and see what they look like. STRYB Athletics Lifestyle. It's a cool tank. This one says STRYB Aspire to be great. And this is also a medium, this is a medium shirt. So, but these ones were just sent to me. I'm not getting compensated to like even show them, but they're really soft. Like this one is from the American Apparel like brand. It's really pretty and I like the coloring on it, so. I'm gonna sit down and like talk to you guys for like two seconds. So basically, it is currently three o'clock. I did not go to school today. I did not go to my state competition today. I had way too much pressure on myself that I didn't, I realized that like, I needed to just breathe. I needed to feel like I could breathe and I was starting to feel like I couldn't. And so I just took today to like, I slept in until around like 11.30, which that's a long time for me. And I like watched YouTube videos. I felt like I was like a teenager and that like I could actually like relax for two seconds, which was crazy and fun and nice. And now I'm going to be doing um, some stuff that I have to get done today. But my mom told me that I probably should uh, just like keep relaxing for today. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm going to go downstairs, spend some time with my mom while she cooks in the kitchen. And I haven't really been that close with my family um, just because I'm so busy and I I love my family so much. So like my mom and I are gonna spend some time together. She just got home just now, if you guys can hear the background. And I'm just gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna work on a lot of things that I need to get done. And I have a lot of deadlines to meet. I actually missed a conference call yesterday. I was very, very, very stressed. So yeah, like, <laughs> like I missed a conference call for that um, just because I was so stressed. And I told myself, you know what, just let it go. I just dropped it for a second and now I'm gonna pick everything back up. I'm gonna, you know, ease into it, make a plan and schedule some me time and prioritize myself a lot more. So that's the update. And I just wanna brief you. I went on a hike with my mom in the morning and I went to dinner with my dad or like a brunch thing with my dad like later on in the day. And I don't spend that much time with my family cause I'm so busy and I'm just so grateful that I had the opportunity to spend time with my parents before, you know, I take another three months away from them this summer and I'm just taking in everything I can because I'm so grateful to have such a supportive family that loves me for who I am and everything I do with my life. No matter what is going on in my life, I know that they'll be there for me. So guys, this is the end of my figure competition prep series. Um, I know I didn't step on stage, but I learned a lot and that's the most important thing out of everything. I feel like I can go and do my next prep and actually follow through with it and feel good about it. And I'll be proud of the physique that I bring to the stage and I'm gonna have my prep coach, we've already been talking and everything and we're just gonna like let myself chillax for a little bit. So with that being said, I'm going to be doing an improvement season. If you guys wanna know what I talked about with my dad at brunch, then I will have that all in my improvement season episode one. It's gonna talk about all my goals and everything and I'm very excited to and like just tell you guys because I feel like I don't tell you guys exactly what I'm going for but that's the goal. Oh, I love you guys so much. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe down below and turn on the post notifications button while you're at it. If you guys are a new subscriber, a recent one, an OG to the channel, then don't forget to turn on the post notification 
bell. I would really, really appreciate it. Then you guys get notified when I upload a video because otherwise there's no notification for it. So if you guys want to turn that on, that'd be great. Um, with that being said, if you guys want to add me on my Snapchat or follow me on my Instagram accounts, I have two different Instagram accounts. One of them is put on private because I just post, you know, like my random stuff that goes on with my life and like pictures with my friends and stuff. And then the other one is my strictly fitness account. So like if you guys are looking to see food that I'm eating, um, my stories or anything like that, then Instagram, both of them is where it's at. And um, if you guys want to add me on Snapchat, I would really love to interact with you guys. I am a Snapchat addict. Like, I need to go to Snapchat rehab. That's how much I love Snapchat. And if you guys want to add me on there, I would love to interact with you guys, talk to you guys. Um, I always ask about YouTube things on there. That's, like, the best way to get a day-by-day -day depiction of my life, workouts. Sometimes I post workout videos on there, so, like, everything that I do that day. Um, occasionally, we do Snapchat takeovers. It's just a fun time with my Snap fam. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love to get your guys' feedback down below if you want to comment, if you want to give it a like, a dislike, however you guys are feeling. And I'll see you guys in my improvement season series because that's going to have all those things in it. But I also have a ton of new content coming to you guys. I'm very, very, very excited.